Uh, Dwayne, um, good draw last week. Reflections a few days on? Um, well, is there ever a good draw? I think that uh, obviously being ahead, um, I'll leave, just leave Simon in, sorry. Yeah. Um, just being ahead with uh, with a, obviously a couple of minutes to go, obviously a bit disappointed in the end. I think that uh, we we battled hard for that, uh, to try and get that win, obviously, and um, just denied at the end. But I think that uh, you know, on reflection after the game, obviously the boys were disappointed. Come back, we reviewed a few areas that which you need to improve. Uh, but I think we showed good fight and good connection with each other to, to stay in that one and uh, and to force ourselves ahead. Obviously, we didn't uh, didn't see it out in the end, but you know, there's there's enough to build on now going into this week. And a Welsh derby as well. You had uh, the double over Cardiff last year. What are you looking for your team this weekend? I, look, I think we just spoken about building on our performance last week. I think obviously first first game of the season is always um, it's always a good one to see where you are. And I think that pre season obviously is a bit of a mix and match. But just seeing where we are um, against Benetton, and then we just got to improve this week. Um, you know, we we need to improve in certain areas, and I think that uh, we we've we've worked hard in training and identified those, and we're working hard in training this week. Uh, and hopefully, we'll uh, we'll have. Um, you know, an improvement in performance, which is what we're looking at week on week now, come this first block. Just a word on Gareth Davis. Dwayne, 250th game this weekend. Um, just the servant he's been and what he can still offer you? Yeah, well, you can see what he can still offer us on the weekend. I thought he was excellent on the weekend. I thought from a kicking perspective, he put us on the... His kicks were, you know, on the money, put us in the right areas. You know, that little line break from the scrum at the end. Um you know the chase back he did when we turned the ball over um, in the first back, first half, fifty meter t- uh, chase back, and I think that you know he's a real competitor guy, and I think that uh, his competitiveness has probably been his key characteristic. Obviously, he's um, you know he scored some great tries and and for for both Scarlets and for Wales, um, but I think that his competitiveness being in the right place, his work ethic week week in week out, you know he's he's ultra competitive on the field and training. Um, and you know that that probably stands him out, uh, you know, from the other guys. And I think that 250 appearances, I think he's the third Scarlet uh, regional player to get that behind Phil, John, and uh, and Ken. So, you know, it was a huge achievement. Um, all the positives last week. One of the negatives seen via Fafita sort of uh, go off at the end. How is he? What is any prognosis on via? <laughs> yeah, he'll be out for a couple of weeks. I think um, had a bit of a knock to his knee, so. Uh, Obviously disappointed for him because I think he's trained really well over the preseason. Uh, put himself in good shape. I thought he's playing well uh, during that game. Just an, obviously a difficult collision in that in that last period. But um, yeah, so that's that's where we are with him. But to on the flip side of that, you've got quite a few players coming back possibly this weekend. You suggested just um, uh, just maybe run through some of the guys who perhaps weren't there this weekend who, who could feature this week this weekend. Yeah, I think from from our short term injured list. Um, Obviously, the likes of Josh, Henry Thomas, uh, Alec Hepburn, etc. They're all close to being selected now this week, so we uh, we're, we're healthier than we were last week. Obviously, um, you've had a bit of gastro stuff knocking around last week as well, like so Costello, um, Ryan Elias last week. So I think that um, getting getting everyone back fit and healthy. Um, very physical game last week as well, um, and, and the travel etc. On Sunday took its toll. So. Look, I think having a strong squad this week, having having guys available for selection and training as well, has been good. So um, yeah, looking forward to to seeing uh, to seeing some guys in action this week, um, and obviously rewarding the guys from last weekend as well from uh, you know some big shifts there. Final for me, how are Eddie James and Sam Lousy looking? Yeah, they're close to being they're close to being good to go now. So um, you know. Um, Eddie's recovered and gone through all the protocols, as you'd expect. And uh, you know, he's good. He's up in training, and, Sam, and Sam's um, Sam's Sam's back in full full training now. So, um, so that's that's great to see those two uh, two guys because they're you know, obviously important for us. And I think that you know again adds a bit of depth to to what we have, you know. And I think that um, you know having Eddie, Johnny, and Max available in that, you know, Nicholas is very close as well. So. You know, those those guys available will be a huge, huge uh, boost to us. Thank you, Dwayne. Good luck on the weekend. Let's go. How are you, Dwayne? How are you? Hey, Steph. Um, set piece and defence was a lot better last weekend, wasn't it, than 
than last season. I mean, that that must have really pleased you as as coach because that that was the Achilles heel last season, wasn't it? Yeah, look, I think that's you know obviously, obviously always work in progress. Those areas, I think that um, put a lot of work into it, and you know it's um, it doesn't happen overnight, but it's just a mentality. I think that you know one thing we can say is that there's been uh, a good buying from players, and I think that they've you know really took took that by the by the horns really, and um, yeah. So I think look, it's a continuous improvement, Steph. I think that we always have to keep striving and keep working hard. I think that um, you know, by no means the, the finished article in any part of our game, and I think that you know we drew the game at the end of the day. We know we need to be better at home. Looking forward to having a home game. I think that that's you know been away three game three weeks on a spin now. Obviously pre season and on that Benetton game, so it'll be great to, great to get back here and uh, and play our first league game at home. On um, Max Page, obviously you know cracking try. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's just proving how good he can be, isn't he? Yeah, I think that um yeah, I think he showed moments. I think line break early, um and and obviously that try. I think he worked hard in defence. But uh, you know, I think that again he's a real promise for the future, definitely. Um and and, and like I said, I think there's there's continuous work in progress for him. Uh he's gonna make errors, he's gonna do really good stuff, he's gonna make errors at the back of it. But you know, for us it's about I like his intent and I think that um, you know, um I think we're quick to point sometimes at players like like himself what he can't do, but what can he do? And I think that that's that's probably where where I see it with him. He's got a lot of intent, and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing him. He's going to get better and better. Um, yeah, so looking forward to, to seeing him go. Yeah, um, obviously you spoke about Gareth Davis already. Um, had a, as you said, had a great game in the weekend. Do, do you still think he's got he's got plenty to offer Wales as well? Um, you know, he's he's only. Well, He's only I say he's only thirty three, but he's still judging by last weekend, he still he still looks an international player, doesn't he? Yeah, look, look, class class for him is is, is permanent, and I think that look, I, I, my it's not not my decision really, and you know what all he all I know about him is he won't give up on that, he won't give up on that, and he'll keep uh, he'll keep working hard. I think from my end, you know, I just want to see him enjoying his rugby and being competitive, and when he does that. You know he's a good, he's a very good player. So, um, so that's all I can say. You know, I think from from my perspective, he competes hard every day, trains hard, plays hard. You know, so it's um, yeah, he's a joy to work with. Really, you know, he's been he's been great since I've been back. Um, so um, yeah, he's been uh, he deserves he deserves every accolade because he's been a great servant for this club. Yeah, and what uh, what sort of a challenge are you expected from Cardiff on Saturday? Well, obviously, derby game. You know, we've always had very close games. You know, and and, and battles uh, with Cardiff. I think that, you know, they obviously had a win on the weekend, bonus point win, so they'll be buoyed from that. Um, you know, they're a dangerous side when they get behind you. I think they can hurt you. You know, so I think it's important that uh, we're on a metal. Obviously, Callum Sheedy coming back into the into their fold gives them a different different option really um, to attack the way he has. And you know, our lead. Arlette coming in at nine, good kicking game, and, and and we've all seen how dangerous they can be as they have been for years on the floor. I think they they're a team who the DNA is to, to contest ball on the floor. You now, be it Thomas Young, um, Ellis Jenkins, etc. Over the last couple of seasons, where you know obviously Dan Thomas being added to that mix now as well, Belcher's good over the ball, etc. So yeah, we just need to be we need to be accurate at our breakdown, um, yeah, and, and that's you know. Nothing out of the ordinary, really, from what you know, from what you see, and we know we can be dangerous. So it's going to be, uh, you know, it's a big game for us, um, and we need to impose ourselves on the game as well. You know, what what are we good at, and and, and take that take that to them. Uh, just finally for me, you you initially named Johan Lloyd at twelve for the Benetton game. I know, obviously, you played ten in the end because Sam was ill. Is that position you you know you, you might look at him again this season? Um. No, look. To be honest, your Steph was a bit of a, a needs not needs must. That's probably the wrong wrong phrase. But we know we owes is a has the ability to play across the back line. Um, and my intention was to bring Johnny off the bench because he's been struggling with a with a foot. So it was about getting him right for the rest of the block. Obviously, things work out for different reasons. And and we lost Sam 
uh, late Saturday afternoon. So Johnny was was pushed to to start that game, which he was you know more than capable of doing. So it was a bit more of managing the group at the start. And um, you know, Yo's, you know, he's he's such a competent footballer. Really, he can play. He played twelve against us in the Heineken Cup a couple of years back and, and tore us apart in the in the short time he was on, you know. So I think that you know, he had the ability to play there and um you know, he stepped in at ten and I thought he played really well, to be honest, as well. So um yeah, lucky to have lucky to have his versatility. But um no is the answer to your question, really, in the honest truth, because we haven't we obviously got some 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 big boys and, and some good players with Eddie and, and Johnny and that uh and Joe Roberts when he comes back, and Max has the ability to play twelve as well. So, it's brilliant. Yeah. Thanks, Dwayne, and uh, good luck on the weekend. Yeah, Steph. Okay, I'll go next. Then. Um, hi, Dwayne. Um, you know, just looking uh, this weekend now. First of a uh, block where you have got a lot of home fixtures. How important is really to get some points on the board with a nice victory to set yourself in in front of this block? Well, it's undoubtedly important, you know. As you said, we've got a lot of a lot of home fixtures. You know, we we want to be good at home. You know, we want to make this place a difficult place for people uh, for people to come. And I think that you know that that's that's where we are in our group. You know, we've spoken that over the summer that we're here to compete and we want to compete hard, especially when we play here. You know, it's a great place to play. We're a great track, great stadium, and. You know, getting the fans behind us here is important. So I think that, you know, momentum at home is important as well. Um, so yeah, it's an important game from that perspective, as will be next week and um and the weeks after. But I think that, you know, we're focused on on performance this week. Um, you know, we're back off uh, of a very physical game on the weekend. So we just need to get ourselves back physically and mentally ready for it and uh, hopefully it'll be a good night here. And it was a decent result last week. I know it didn't really go the way you wanted in the end, but um, it showed a lot of positive signs from last season where perhaps maybe the results didn't quite go your way. You've had some good recruitment as well. How do you, maybe slightly under the radar, but how do you kind of like look at that? How do I look at the recruitment? Recruitment over the summer. Yeah, look, it's targeted, isn't it? You know, we mm. we knew that we wanted to strengthen certain areas of the game. Um we knew what type of game model we wanted to play or we want to play. And I think that, you know, um, and that's where we've gone about our business. I think that, you know, we've got a certain amount, we've got a certain amount of money we can spend. So what's best for us to, to fulfill that? And I think that, um, you know, we, we've managed to recruit some, I, I believe we've managed to recruit some good players. I think we've retain, retained some players as well that we wanted to, we wanted to retain. Um yeah, so look, I think that it's about blending those guys in now. I think, you know, we've got the next couple of games where we are going to have opportunities to play, people who are going to make debuts, etc., uh, home debuts and stuff and stuff like that. So I think that, uh, yeah, it's about it's very targeted and what we've we've gone after and, and what type of player we want here. Yeah. And would you say it's improving on maybe that clinical edge that perhaps you missed at times last season? You've got yeah. a new, two new wingers in the side, perhaps, maybe? Yeah, clinical edge is one. I think that um, we, we, you know, Steph alluded to earlier around, you know, certain parts of our game which we needed to firm up, undoubtedly. Um, and yeah, clinical edge is probably something that, you know, we, we traditionally, our DNA is to move the ball. And I think that when we get line breaks, etc., it's about making the most of that. Um, and that goes for every, or, and also, you know, getting into 22 and, and being effective and efficient in people's 22s because that's so important in the game nowadays. So, you know, we spend a lot of our time on that, you know, and I think that, that again, that's something that comes with experience, playing with one another, um, discipline with the ball, discipline without the ball. But but ultimately, it's about giving them confidence to go and play. And I think that, um, you know, that's, that's where the right map with it, the clinical edge will come off the back of that. Um, again, sometimes momentum gives you that as well. Uh, you talk about momentum there. You've got to play Cardiff again in a couple of games' time as well. So would you say having a win this weekend would kind of give you that momentum now just to get in, in push you on this season? And what kind of targets would you have, do you think, from that? Well, look, from our perspective, in terms of targets, we our target is that we want to compete. So that's what we said at the start of the season, that every game we want to compete hard. Um, 
And winning is brings momentum, there's no doubt, you know. So a win this weekend would definitely give you that and, and then moving into home game next week. So there's no hiding from that fact. Um, I think the last couple of seasons, for some reason, we've been playing Cardiff almost like back-to-back. You know, we played them last year quickly. We played them the year before, a um, couple of weeks apart. So it seems to be a common theme now that we're playing them almost consecutively you know and I think that um, you know that's good as well I think that 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 also is good I think it breeds a good good level of excitement Um, so but it's important for us to get off to a good start this week and you know it's going to be a difficult game for us um, and you know but we're looking forward to it and uh, as I said it's nice you know good good way to start uh, start a home campaign so who have you been most impressed with in training uh, over the summer and coming into this new campaign then doing um, I think there's been a number of guys. Obviously, we've got some new guys come into the system. Um, you know, the likes of Blair and and, and Ellis Me, two wingers that we've we've recruited. Um, I think Tommy Rogers, we thought was excellent on the weekend. I think he's looked very sharp over the preseason, and I think the boys have trained hard. I think that um, you know, it's a, a preseason's always a tough time, so you never really know um, where you're at until the season starts. But the boys have worked hard. I think we're starting to see some some benefits of that and, and continue to grow. You know, I think there's been a number of guys who have stepped up to the plate. We've got a number of young guys again to step up again. So I think what I look at is a level of competitiveness. And I think that sometimes you have your sort of first team and then your I don't want to call it the you, you prefer you 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 probably start in choice players and then there's a big drop off. And I don't feel that. I think we've got a balanced squad and I think we've got a good group of youngsters who who haven't even been close to the first team yet. They've been training with us, and they, they've been, you know, stepping up to the plate. So, um, yeah. So that's what I'd say. I think we've been competitive in training against each other. So uh, hopefully that will hold us in good stead coming forward to the season. Now, when everyone I'm looking at any shallow the fact that the game has to be second again, Gunter tomorrow the catch of an Edwin Bennett on. So it's the guy to go to the other one. So do you see that this year Canelo had performed at the good level that Canelo had done before, and that the level that he got positives are going to be enough to Oh, they're going to positives, you can't but they're going to be with the guy who is here. But I'm looking to see that Canelo is in a pen draw or with um, or the game on in Gustav Lee only on the plan. But I'm going to do even a dress and. Um, no, nah, game Gustav Lee only on. Um, are they going to be with or no? Are they going to be bad at all? I'm not saying. Yeah, so I'm with us in game that's been a sign, it's been Rickby Cardi, Dana Goliata, and Marcus Carlets, no Saturn. So that game, I think I'm going to be with Sadah in the goal, and it's been Cardi, Sid Vath or Hare, the Hindi score, and it's been known a game of Mano Saturn. Only wants to go game with Anger, but no, I'm going to team Gustav Leol Heavy, I'm going to keep Tavli Pale and Witty, I'm going to keep our rugby part on Heavy, I'm going to Gustav Leol Yawn and Rayer or Shower. I think Marani would and Marani and Willie Doris and Marani would and are in good order. Really, I'm so many doors that I go there now. Who are they? I need to part a time. Gallery with us in. I go in a bit now. Ah, we thought now in a game, but he didn't go spit. He didn't need. We could have gone there or game name. I should go to David. We should. No, I just want a game. We should be the game. Game of choice. A game of savour and chill. Yeah, I got just a question all that and I'm look me with uh, Gareth Davis and Hora game Reeve Canstay uh something like that. Um I just think law and I'm look with Gareth Davis and Hora game by Ganta Fim Deg, depending on some dross or um bad. Bell Ruin, Bell Gareth, who I'm look to the Hora Dross and Scarlet at Gumri. I could you just describe your Gavrani at all Dross a Scarlet at Gumri. I have it by Tim and Rocky the Gunnig Dalivo Dear Scarlet at Aguilato Green. Oh, I'm going to look at Eddie Bud and Jorge or Bendig, Hidden Hin. Um, how many water are we in the quick blood net now? Uh, Doy Cardinal game, may seen see men vow about only in a Roy Roy in club. Um, could have heard Shadith Scarlet, Jorge or Rambarth, Oli Kala, a Vrain Tin, Rashi. No, bro, down on the way I give Rania day at the club, Kitty Bud Eddie Bud and Jorge or Guich, when he scored a case, Casey or Bendig. Uh, my my good gusted lay all down, uh, and Bob Beth my need. Ah, my poor behaviour boy Claude, my when my when Carl, what we thought he could perform, what we thought a boy such a right perform, what me on, sin um sin dangos, sin dangos Beth my way with the Kavrani, Beth my when uh, Beth my when Kashi Kavrani Kavrani's teaming.